Hey guys, so this is the front porch view of the house. Basically the entire yard is this landscaped, um, manicured lawn that's got a few areas that will need to be cut on a regular basis, but not a whole lot. Really pretty stonework. Very, very pretty entrance except for this awning. I didn't get a very good shot from where I'm at. I'm too close, but very, very pretty front door and entrance. When you come in, you'll see the office. Super tall ceilings. You can't even... And it goes out to the side porch with the view of the side yard. Lydia, this is the porch that I was telling you I'd probably make um, an entrance and landscape that area for kids' play. That neighbor through the woods right there seems to have small children. Um, cause they have sandbox and stuff. Stucco looks good on the exterior of the house. The roof looks good. It looks pretty well maintained. I would, um, advise that I know an inspector will call the greenery growing on the side. That always compromises longevity. So inspectors will tell you to have that cut, cut and trimmed from the side of the house. Big front entrance. Dining room on this side. The hardwood looks like it's in great shape. Again, Lydia and I were talking about probably pulling this section of flooring out and running it the same direction as the entry to carry it throughout the living room and the master. So flat ceilings, really tall ceilings. Big walk-in closet. actually a pretty big shower in there um, even though Whew. they like to clean it that's for sure what kind of tile I'd replace that tile Going into the living room. Love the fireplace. Skylights are in good condition. I would probably change out those light fixtures up there. Those look original. Hey, girl. Take a peek out on the back porch. They must have repainted it or something. This is 
two different kinds of paint. I've never seen that really. So that's a neighbor. And that's a neighbor, but it's not terrible. Hi. Needs new countertops. For this price point of home, they really should have put new granite in before trying to sell it. But they didn't. Big large laundry room with an extra refrigerator and the garage. It has had some staining in there, so it'd probably look nice to have repainted concrete in there. This is the half bath. And then it goes into back into the dining room and coat closet with the under um, step storage. Oh, I don't think I got this part of the kitchen. So from the top of the steps, there's a hallway to a bedroom, and then there's bedroom at the top of the steps, bathroom, and two more rooms. We'll start with this one. That ceiling is arched, so it's a little bit trick, mind tricking. You can see that the ceiling arches right here. Built ins. This bedroom is more of a playroom or an office, I would say. You walk into it, and it's got built ins and skylights, and then it wraps around this wall to more of a sitting area. Just a minute, girl, I'm almost done, okay? Clean bathtub. And you can't open this door because of your rug. But there's a laundry chute and storage in this bathroom. I wouldn't pick these colors, but it's really tastefully done. That's all paint. Tall ceilings. Hey, here I am. Look, Aspen. You hear me? 
and look over the living room this direction. You can look into the foyer from this direction. And then you have this bedroom. It's got really big furniture in it. But that closet is good space. And then you've got some pretty big attic space up here. So, super cute house. This one needs far less work than the other one. Um, and they put a lot of good finishes in this house. So, take a look. We'll chat about it soon.